Good morning YouTube. Yes, I'm half asleep again on a video. I do apologize because I'm not long woke up to the news. So that's why I've come here on YouTube. Yeah, I've spoiled you for Manchester United videos as of late yesterday, today, and my FIFA franchise. That will continue later on, don't get me wrong. And I might do an on rush uh, live stream shortly after this is uploaded. Um, how to say this, how to pull this. I'm very, very interested to see what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer can bring to Manchester United as he's been now confirmed. Within 24 hours, not 48 hours, as Sky Sports News was actually saying. That he's our caretaker manager till the end of the season. I'm interested to see what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer can bring to the fold at Old Trafford, you know, because quite honestly, is he let loose on the transfer window to see where we can, um, can gel with other players to see what he can bring into the club or to see what he could actually do to the club. Personally, I feel like they threw him in the deep end and that's just my honest, honest opinion. I don't know what he was up to these past few years all I know he was a manager at one point at a British team I think it was Aston Villa or Cardiff I can't remember exactly but I know he did a bit of managerial role in Norway did a fantastic job I think it was Noble I think it was I'm not 100 sure you know because quite honestly not on top of my head I don't keep up with what people do when they are actually retired so it's going to be very interesting because last time I actually seen Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, hard to believe. Obviously, granted he's popped up a few times when Manchester mm. United's had a match and obviously you've got the pundits in the studio, well, within the ground obviously, and he's there. As, but other than that, last time I seen him was in 2014 when he was doing the Football Manager documentary. If you've ever not seen it, it's worth a watch. It's not a cheap plug towards the movie, but seriously, when this guy makes his decisions sort of based on that game, that just that sort of worries me at times. Is he going to do his decisions on Manchester United through that game and this season's version of the game? Who knows? You know, I'm, it makes me very sceptical, but... With Manchester United at the moment, we need something that was not being given us by Jose this past season. Granted, I rated him when Jose, when he was in power, I gave him a chance. And it was just frustration from the word go of this summer. Now I'm just in really intrigued to who or what. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to do to Manchester United. Is he going to bring in players? Is he going to use the youth academy that we've thriven with talent? Is he just going to make the team feel a better place to work, to do stuff? Obviously, because when I watched, well, sort of watched, kept Gillum some, it was a shambles at fucking Anfield. It was below par that Manchester United is known for. You know, I'm not expecting to win every game granted, but ser seriously, seriously, I'm not expecting Manchester United to win every game. But when you look at the likes of Manchester United, what the calibre of t team that we've got is just beyond belief. Even in the Youth Academy, I mentioned that in yesterday's video. Now is there a glimmer of hope that Oli Legend is bringing back to Manchester United? be quite funny if we end up winning the Champions League under his realm. You know, I, w I don't mind the guy, don't get me wrong, but it, I find it an interesting choice. I think they've rushed it, didn't think it through, but then again, did they think it through? You know, it's just one of those 50-50 things. And I'm really interested to see which direction dynamic that Manchester United will go now going into the rest of the season to say the position where we are in the league it's 
shouldn't happen like that. And you know, if he does a lot for the club, will they just bid him off after the season and not give him the job on a permanent basis? But he's got time to prove himself within the next four months, if I've worked it out rightly. Four to the beginning of five. A lot to ask, but Ollie, don't let us down, for fuck's sake. You know you get backlash from fans if you don't do the job right. I think it's, I wish him all the best, don't get me wrong. I'm 50-50 on this decision, you know. A couple of names rolling off my head like I've mentioned in the previous video. Paul Scholes would be an ideal candidate to put his money where his mouth is. You know, because quite honestly, the way he's been saying it, Roy Keane, yeah, he didn't prove himself at Ipswich, etc. But I thought the way he walked away, walked away from his job with Martin O'Neill, I thought they were heading towards Manchester United. Obviously, Martin, um, Martin O'Neill won't work for Manchester United, granted. But you never know. Football is a funny place. You know, Roy Keane, I know he didn't prove himself that much at the likes of Ipswich, etc. But at least one thing, he could probably get the players working together because he's left the legacy that he was known for and etc. If you get what I mean. And do I dare mention this game, guy's name? Can he prove himself at a big, big club? Is Sam Allardyce? Do we actually bring in the likes of David Moyes back? Do we bring in the likes of Zinedine Zidane in this summer? You know, it's just one of those things. And a lot of people are actually saying they won't mind the Spurs boss. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to take him. Granted, he suits the playing style that Manchester United provide. But do does he leave a job that he's made his name for in Spurs towards going into Manchester United? Remember, he's already turned down a move to Real Madrid. So I don't think in the slight mind he's got that... Uh, mentality to think, oh yeah, I'll take that job at Manchester United. You know, it's just one of those things at the moment that there's those just the name, but a few of the names that I'm actually rolling off my tongue at the moment. You know, I wouldn't like to compare a shortlist because I don't know who's available, where, and what. You know, that's just my opinion. Tell me yours. You know. Not an egotistical person that fucking gave me a lot of shit about my personal demons with uh, depression back in the day when I did my wrestling channel. I'm still doing my wrestling channel on Daily Motion, and that's on for my vlogs. But I'm on about for the likes of when I was talking about professional wrestling. Yeah, I've blocked him, don't worry, guys. It's not getting to me, but I'm just having flashbacks of the way he was. But it's just one of those things, guys, at the moment with Manchester United, with that much stuck in a rut. I think they've rushed this. But can I be proven wrong? I love when I've been proven wrong, you know? I'm not smart because people say in the wrestling world, I'm just a Manchester United fan, one of the best for my team. That's just my that's the way and it's gotta be but anyway guys that's about it for this video thank you ever so much for tuning in if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon so you'll be notified any time when you see me do any videos i've hit to 90 subscribers i'm 10 away from 100 i can't believe that in a short space of time but obviously hopefully if it stays this way and it's my day off still because this is technically officially my day off. But I'm on standby just in case if anyone phones in ill tonight. As it stands, what plans are coming on this channel? My next FIFA episode, right for you guys. So it'll be episode, I think, 15 I'll be on. That'll be later on tonight. And then obviously, shortly after I upload this video, I will be doing an on rush live stream for you guys hopefully if it plans go to plan but 
one thing is I want to actually say though guys that I can't talk to you guys on my headset on that game because obviously my headset's playing up I probably need a new one in the new year and obviously with my FIFA franchise I've recorded it up to my third season I'm not going to tell you no spoilers or whatsoever I'm up to my third season but you guys are still seeing the first that's how dedicated I am to you guys I've been recording it and etc and obviously I've started editing my vlog intro for my daily motion account for next April so there's a lot of things coming your way soon trust me on that and obviously if plans go to plan I'll be doing something on my main channel Kevin Arts in the new year but I don't know when I'm going to start it but I will be starting it soon I hope. But anyway, guys, thank you ever so much for tuning in again. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video right here on Pacemaker Diaries, exclusively on YouTube.com.